Okay, good evening class. Again, sorry. Good morning class. Okay, so start na sa to ang solid geometry na klase. Uh, by the way, my name is Lian Salve. I am an electronics engineer by profession. And I will be your instructor for solid geometry. Okay? Um, for this online bridging program, we will have nine sessions all in all. And for our first session, we will be discussing about polyhedrons, rectangular solids, and cubes. So, mga basic lang sa class para dili kay Bugat. So, let's start. Okay, so we have here regular polyhedron. So, assuming na nagklase na mo of plane geometry, okay, di ba sa plane geometry, you deal with 2D figures, right? Plane figures lang. And of course, sa solid geometry, you will be dealing with 3D figures na. And, and that's it. Mag-solve na tag mga volume. Now, di ba sa plane geometry class, natin kinatawag na regular polygons, right? And when you speak of regular polygons, ang pasabot lang na niya is ang mga sides atong figure na to is equal, same sila dimensions. So, same thought lang yung class pag sa polyhedrons. Though sa polyhedrons lang class, 3D figures na ito ang ginahandle. Okay? And by definition, a regular polyhedron is a solid with all its faces identical regular polyhedron. So, ang kada later on makita ninyo class ha, basta iyang faces daw kay regular poly, polygons daw, regular polygons. Meaning to say, polygon siya, regular polygon siya, ang kada side atong figure na to, same like dimensions. And mo ni siya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you have tetrahedron, hexa, octa, dodeca, icosahedra, Ay, sorry, icosahedron. Okay, sa so, kaning lima kron na kalista, mo ni siya itong ginatawag na platonic solids. Um, mo ni siya mga basic polyhedrons lang na itong ma-encounter. Pero daghan pagid kayo siya mga other polyhedrons class na wala na kalista diriya. Mo lang ni siya mga basic na ito ang i-discuss. Kika itong mga lain na muna itong mga weird kayo names na siguro most likely if mag-take mo board exam 5 years from now, most likely mga objective question na ito siya, mga trivial question. Okay, so start ta. Aning tetra, hexa, octa, dodeca, and icosa, hedron. Kung sino ang nila ka. So mo ni siya yung mga naong. This is tetra, hexa, octa, dodeca, icosa, hedron. Okay, so diri a below, kani sila, IDK if makita ninyo, kani siya. Those are, diba, those are figures, no? Mga numbers siya, most likely makalipong siya. Pero, sige, atong isa-isa kon karon class ko. Kinsa lang diri ang importante, okay? So, number one, we have here the face. Ang face is, kato akong giingan class, kani siya. Those are, these are faces. What ang kilid sa imuhang figure. Okay? So, for example, pag tetrahedron ka, triangle, yun na iyang face. Pag hexa ka, square, yun na siya. Pag octahedron ka, triangle, yun po na siya. Pag dodeca, pentagon, five-sided, one, two, three, four, five. Pag icosahedron, triangle po daw ang iyang face. So, tanang faces, anak nila, class mo ni siya. Nakalista diri. Ah. Basically, basically, Kaning faces na to, triangle, square, triangle, pentagon, triangle, mga common sense na lang na siya ha. Um, siguro karon medyo malintan pa siya, pero later on, as you go along, as you solve more problems, kani siya, mahulog na siya common sense. Kani niya? Sige. Kaning faces na to, say for example, na kay tetrahedron, pila daw ka faces na asya. So kapag tetrahedron ka, na daw kay upat ka faces. Asang ikaupat ma'am? So, kung ako ni siyang pong kagon, class, ah, drop broken line, dali, abe. Okay. So, makita niyo ang broken, ang, ang four faces of that. You have one, two, three sa pinakalikod, o kaning ikaupat sa pinakababa. Okay. Mo ng four daw ihang faces na kay upat ka triangle faces for a tetrahedron. Mo ng pasabot anan niya. Alright? Okay. How about the hexahedron, ma'am? You have six daw na faces. So, if Ito lang itarog drawing. Asang 6. So, you have 1. Ah, sige. Medyo libog siya. Kaya wala ako yung ano, marker. So, you have 1, 2, 3 sa likod, 4 sa kilid, 5 sa front, and 6 sa bottom. 
that means to say lang kas, when we speak of hexahedron, you have six square faces. And so on and so forth. Pag about sa octahedron, you have eight. Pag about sa dodecahedron, you have twelve. And icosahedron, you have twenty. Okay? And that's it. Sige. Uh, so again, ha? Tetra, you have four. Hexa, you have six. Octa, you have eight. Dodeca, you have 12. And icosahedron, you have 20. So, yeah. Kaning face and number of faces. These are basically, as you move along, common sense, yun na siya. Okay? Alright, so, moving forward, class. We have here edges. Another, ano, 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. Edges. Ano say edges, ma'am? Itong mga pointed... Edge, no, dili siya edge, sorry. That was where it says. Edges is kani, oh. Wait lang, let me change the color of my pen. Kani, edge. That's an edge. Another edge. Gets niyo? Edge, edge, edge. Yeah, six. So, for example, you have six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hexahedron, you have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve edges for hexagon and so on and so forth. Six, twelve, twelve, thirty, thirty. Okay. How about vertices, ma'am? Tong, uh, tong vertices, ma'am. Tong tomoy, tomoy. Let me change again the color of my pen. Tong pointed ba? Kani ah, vertex. Yeah, vertex, vertex, vertex. So for a tetrahedron, how many vertices do we have? One, two, three, four. So four. For a hexahedron, how many? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight. And so on and so forth. Six, twenty, twelve. Alright? So easy lang siya so far, no? Um, but let me check. Alright, sige. Let's move forward, class. We have, kato easy lang siya. These are figures. These are basic, uh, how do I say this? These are just basic informations lang sa itong mga polyhedrons. How about the area, ma'am? Uh, area, volume, and kaning radius of the inscribed sphere. Uh, formulas na yung nasa ubos na to, no? Um, pero kaning area na to, daghan siya. And pag -abot, so pag solve ninyo, Basta pag mathematics, hago yun mag-memorize sa formulas, right? Pero take note class, kaning area, ang pasabot ano niya is that um, total area of all the phases of that figure. So, that means to say class, kung sa tetrahedron, di ba natay upat ka-triangle phases? Pag i-add ni mo ang area at ang upat ka-triangle phases na to, pila daw to siya. Modo ni, mga formula na siya. And same po diri ah. If kaning hexahedron, if ako ang i-add ang 6 ka-square faces ani na figure, pila ay ang total area. Moda na sa imong formula. Kani. Where you don't have to memorize kaning area na to ng mga formulas. Okay, pwede na yun na siya i-derive. So, oops, wait, sorry. Before we move forward to that class, kani daing ato ang faces, edges, and vertices. Uh, there is a f there is one formula that relates these three components. Moto tong ginatawag na Euler's equation. Um, bida ingon lang sa Euler's equation is that imohang faces plus the vertices minus the edges will always be equal to two. Regardless of unsa ka na figure class, regardless of unsa ka na polyhedrons, ang relationship kita aton tulo na to ka components na faces plus vertices minus edges will always be equal to 2. Say, for example, a tetrahedron has 4 faces. It has 6 edges. I'm sorry, it has 4 vertices. And it has 6 edges. So, 4 plus 4, that is 8, minus 6. That's always going to be equal to 2. That is according to Euler's equation. Okay, so, mo siya ang relationship sa itong faces, edges, and vertices, alright? Okay, so moving forward class, again, katong area na to. As discussed, di ba, ana ako, dilit na good siya need, i-memorize ka ni, ng mga formulas. Okay, again, pwede rin good niya siya i-derive. So, unsay derivation na to, ma'am? Money siya class.
You have your tetrahedron, hexa, octa, dodeca, and icosa. Now, take note class. Di ba, anak ko? Ang imuhang tetrahedron has four faces. Tapos, yung sa ihang face class, di ba, it's a triangle. So, that means to say, class, kwa on na nimong area sa triangle, then multiply it by four, nakuha na nimong area. Right? Kay, by definition of, of polyhedron, ang kada face by anato, kana siya, kana siya, they are all regular polygons. So, this one here is identical to this one there. Right? So, ma'am, ang saan pagkuha ang area of a triangle? It's, this is gonna be an equilateral triangle, ha? Kay regular polygon, ba yan siya? Meaning to say, kana siya, kana siya, o kana siya nas edge. Kinakilid class. Equal lang na siya lag dimensions. Kay regular polygon man dyan siya. By definition of a regular polyhedron. So, ang iyong gamiton diri a class, gamiton na yun, tunin nyo ang square root of 3 over 4 e squared. Ang saan niya ma'am na formula? This is, an, this is a formula for an equilateral triangle. Okay. Okay, so balik ta. Again, class, kanina siya na formula. This is the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle. Ma'am, equilateral triangle ba niya? Again, yes, class. Ha? Balik, balik ko na to siya na ang kanisya. Equilateral triangle na siya. Kay, by definition, ang polyhedron is made up of regular polygons. So, kung regular polygon na siya, then kanisya, kana siya na edge, o kana siya na edge, same lang na sila ang dimensions. Hence, that is an equilateral triangle. So, pag kuhaon ninyo ang area of a tetrahedron class, kuhaon lang ninyo, Ang area sa equilateral triangle using this formula here, multiply that multiply that by 4. Ang ano form, ma'am? Kinakay upat ka face for a tetrahedron. Makuha na niyo mo yung area. Without even having to memorize kani siya. Okay? Sige. Same thought, same concept applies ani nila class. For hexahedron, di ba, you have 6 faces. That's unsa ba ang Face of a hexahedron, di ba? It's a square. Being a square, how do we get the area of a square? S squared lang. So, kuha na niyong area. Just get the area of the square using S squared. Multiply that by 6, 6 because na kay 6 ka faces for a hexahedron. Same concept applied is applied to octahedron class. Na kay 8 ka faces. Unsa ato ang, ato ang face? Triangle, so area of an equilateral triangle happen. You have your dodecahedron, na kay 12 ka face. This one here is the area of a pentagon class. Uh, pero basically, kung magkuha mong area of a pentagon, dili siya parehas kanina, no? Pwede man yun siya bungkagon into triangles. Then, masolve na doon ninyo ang, ano, pag bungkagon ninyo ni siya class into triangles, masolve, ragi hapon na ninyo ang area of the pentagon. Siguro moving forward class, pag natin yung mga sample problems, let's um, elaborate this further siguro in the future. Basta, easy lang po siya as you go along. Area of the pentagon lang na siya class. How do we get the area of that, ma'am? Bungkagi lang ni siya into triangles or pwede mo magamit o formula of a regular area of a regular pentagon which I believe natin mga sample problems later. So later na lang or in the next few sessions, Ato siyang i-elaborate, okay? So, delete lang mabala ka. Uh, last is icosahedron. So, na kay 20 ka faces. And then, triangle gihapon siya. Okay? Equilateral triangle man daw ang ato ang face for an icosahedron. And that's it lang, class, for the areas. Okay? So, ang nabilin na lang is the volume and the radius of the inscribed sphere. So, tara, moving forward. Uh, okay. So we have here formula for the radius of inscribed sphere. That means to say, class, if naakay polyhedron, tas ang sphere isulod ni mo sa imong polyhedron, pila daw ang radius, sorry, pangit ako ang drawing, pero pila daw ang radius, ato niya, radius of the inscribed sphere. O, doon niya ang formula, 3V over A. Meaning lang ani class, um, di ba na kay area? Ang area, masolve rugid ni mo siya using atong common sense na yun ane. 
diba? So, for the radius of the inscribed sphere or the volume, pag memorize nimo ang isa, dili na nimo need i solve, dili na nimo need i memorize ang Di ba kaya ang problema mong kun nato? Okay. So kaning area solved na basic common sense using atong kane. How about kaning volume of radius of inscribed sphere if magtake mo for the exam in the future? Kago gid siya memorize So Asa na lang diri asa duha pili kag asa nimo gusto imo memorize on si volume pa or si radius of inscribed sphere kay kung ma-memorize mo gud ninyo ang isa sa ilaha class ma-solve na gapon nimo tong isa pod na wala nimo gi-memorize using this formula what i mean to say lang class is if kabalo ka sa voli kabalo ka sa formula for the volume nya yeah, kaning area common sense na lang then ma-solve na nimo imo ang radius of the inscribed sphere vice versa if kabalo ka sa imuhang radius of the inscribed sphere, area is common sense, then masolve na po ni mo imuhang volume. Diba? Without even having to memorize katong tanang formulas na naka-describe kanina, na nakalista ganina class. So, money siya ha, 3V over A, that is the area, that is the radius of the inscribed sphere. So, now karon class, uh, recap lang ta. Diba, kani ato ang figure, kani ato ang table. Okay? Again, class, um, faces, uh, mahulog siya common sense. Even the number of faces, mahulog siya common sense. Kaning edges and vertices na to, class, medyo ano lang siya. Uh, medyo kapoy lang siya memorize on, Right? Pero diba na ato formula ganina na, Euler's equation. Katong uh, faces plus vertices minus edges is equal to zero. So, if maingon ko na ang number of faces, common sense, na na lang sa iduha ang inyong memorize on. Either mag-memorize mo ang vertices or i-memorize nyo edges. What I mean to say lang is, if memorize niyo yung edges, faces is common sense, then masol na po mo ang Ver number of vertices using the Euler's equation, right? So, karon, I suggest, I suggest lang ha, it is my own personal opinion lang na siguro si adjust na lang inyong i-memorize. Ano lang, balik-balik lang, 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. So, balik-balik lang ninyo na class. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. And by repetition, 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 class, ma-retain rin na sa inyo hang mind. 6, 12, 12, 30, 30. Okay, so, kato, 6, 12, 12, 30, 30 lang ta. Once ma-memorize na ninyo to, solve na po dahi na to ang vertices na to using the Euler's equation. Alright? And then, kaning area, again, <coughs> kaning area, ma-derive lang siya. Diba? Kato akong ipakita ganina. Say, for example, kapag tetrahedron ka, kuha ilang ninyo ang area of an equilateral triangle. Multiply that by 4. Kuha na ninyo yung area. For volume and radius of an inscribed sphere class, diba natin ay 3, R, answer, R is equal to 3V over A. So, pag naamoy na memorize either sila, ha, so, nag-hap natin itong other one. Okay? So, kamo class, kung sa inyong gusto yung memorize, si volume ba or si radius of inscribed sphere, wala yung problema kung kinsa inyong gusto pili yun. Pero ako, siguro si radius of inscribed sphere na lang atong memorize yun. So, with all that being said, from here, matrim down na itong table into this na lang class. Kanina lang atong memorize yun. From that one, medyo taas, Kanina lang atong timanan. If you're, of course, mag-take mo board exam in the future, of course, kailangan yun o dapat paspas mo mag-solve. Okay? Alright, so, muna to siya, basically, everything that you need to know for polyhedrons. So, karon solve tag sample problems lang, ha? Para ma-apply na ito na itong na-learn. So, hopefully, dili kayo ko paspas, no? Dili mo ko din siya live session. Karon so, if you have questions, dili na ko siya ma-entertain. Pero, yeah, if na-confuse mo, just rewind the video lang class. May signalan mo yung na-miss. Na salado lang ninyo yung handilunggan for a while. Pero, if you have questions, just let me know. Um, I will let you know kung saan ko pag, kung saan yung pag-reach out sa ko if you have any clarifications. So, tara, solve the sample problems, right? Okay, so, tara, sample problem ta. 